your shed will be delivered flat packed with all the required fixtures and fittings. We recommend you read through the instructions to ensure you have all the required components. Our sheds are made from modular panels that are easy to handle. They are interchangeable to suit your garden. All of our garden buildings must be built on a firm level base. This is to ensure the longevity and to prevent the wood from distorting. We recommend these following bases. Wooden base, poured concrete base, slabs and patio. Make sure you have a clear area and remove any items that might get in the way during assembly. A minimum of 60 centimeters should be left around the perimeter of your garden building. This is to allow for maintenance, annual treatment, and for airflow around the building. You will need the following tools for your assembly. A screwdriver, a drill, a hammer, a tape measure, a ladder, a saw, and a cutting tool. We also recommend installing on a dry day with a minimum of two people. To start the installation, remove the transportation blocks from the bottom of each of the panels. Now place the floor panels down, making sure that the floor bearers are flush with the base. Ensure the base has suitable drainage, free from areas where standing water can collect. Next, we will fit the door so you can make sure that the hinges are level. Lay down the front gable flat on the ground and place the door panel within the aperture. Make sure they are flush within the door opening. Now it is time to add the hinges. Place the hinges at the top, bottom and middle where appropriate, making sure they are flush with the framing nails. Pre-drill all screw holes throughout this installation as it will help prevent the wood from splitting. Once you have pre-drilled through the screw holes, you can now secure the hinges onto the door and the door framing, ensuring that the screws go all the way through the cladding into the framing behind. Start the main body of the installation with the back gable and one of the side panels to form an L-shaped joint. Align the panels at the corner so that the framing is firmly against one another, and the bottom framing sits flat on the edge of the floor panel. Now pre-drill and secure the panels together, securing at the top, middle and bottom of the framing. Now bring in the remaining side panel and repeat this process. Finish off the main body of the building by bringing in the front gable and securing using the same method as before, screwing at the top, middle and bottom, attaching to either side panel. Do not attach your building to the floor until the roof is fitted. To begin preparing your roof, start with the ridge bar. Line up an L-shaped bracket at either end and screw into the Place the ridge bar between the front and back gable, ensuring the top corners of the ridge bar sit flush to the points of the door gable. To secure into place, screw into the vertical framing. With the ridge bar now installed, it is time to prepare the roof boards. Place the roof panels onto the ground and slide the ease framing under the long side of one of the roof panels ensuring they are flush on either side as well as along the long edge of the roof panel. Secure with screws at either end and in the middle of each eave. Next, position your roof panels onto the building by sliding them up onto your gables. They should come together at the top of the apex. Fix the roof panels by screwing them directly through the framing beneath and into the roof bar. This will create an overhang for your felt. Repeat this on any remaining panels. Now that your roof is fitted, we can screw your building down onto the floor. Secure the building at equal intervals along the internal edge. This will ensure it is stable and secure whilst reducing any unwanted movement. Next, we will roll out the felt following the measurements and number of required felt strips as stated in your instruction. Or as shown, roll along the length of the building as a guide. Once rolled out to length, cut the felt with a cutting tool for a nice clean finish. Once cut, roll out the first felt strip along your roof. Leave at least a 50mm overhang on all sides. Tack the felt at the top two corners to fix it into place. Once secured, tack along the bottom edge, making sure to pull the felt firmly to prevent any wrinkles. Once your felt strips are secured and attached to the roof, it is time to add the capping felt. Attach your capping felt along the centre of the apex, making sure it overlaps the previous felt strips. Secure the capping felt along the length of the roof on both sides with the remaining tacks. It is time to attach the cover trims. Trim the length of the cover trim to the required size before affixing to the building. Attach to the front and back of the building, pre-drilling and screwing again at the top, middle and bottom. Moving on to the fascia, fold the felt down so that it is sandwiched between the fascia board and the edge of the roof, leaving a slight overhang at the top. Secure and screw at each end and in the middle, and repeat the process for the remaining fascias. Once all your fascias are attached and in place, you can cut away any felt that is hanging under the fascia using your cutting tool. To attach the finial, pre-drill and screw it onto your building at the front and back. Make sure to position the finial over the fascia joint. The internal door beading needs to be installed just on the inside of the door frame, secure with screws at the top, middle and bottom of each side of the door. 
If you have a double door building, fix the door blocks at the top and bottom of one of the doors with screws, screwing through the outside of the door into the block. On the inside of the door, attach a turn button to the top and bottom blocks with a black screw. The door strips are to be placed across the door gap of the opposite door to your door blocks. Place the shorter strip at the top of the door and the longer at the bottom. Ensure they are flush at the top and bottom, with a gap in the middle. Secure with screws at the top, middle and bottom. You can now attach the last turn button between these two strips, using a black screw provided. This will help keep the door in position and prevent it from swinging open. For single door sheds, simply attach the turn buttons provided to the top and bottom of the door, using the black screws. Make sure to attach the turn buttons onto the cladding of the front gable. Now it is time to install the windows. Start off by fixing the window strips along each side of the window opening with screws, attaching them at the top, middle and bottom. Now place a plastic glazing strip into the window lip. Position a piece of styrene in the window frame, securing the external edge with a window strip. Make sure the screws enter the framing of the window panel and not the styrene. This will sandwich the styrene in place. Repeat this process for the remaining windows and finish off by securing the center framing. Once installed, you will need to treat your new shed with a high quality timber preservative and waterproofing top coat to make sure that the wood is protected and to keep your building in tip top condition. This needs to be done as soon as possible after it has been constructed. Our sheds come with a 10 year anti-rot guarantee. To maintain this, you will need to retreat your building at least once a year. Once your shed has been treated, it is time to remove the window film. Score along the edge of the window with a sharp knife, both inside and out, to peel away the protective plastic. For more information, and for other helpful guides, please head over to our website.